self-reflection, something she stuffed away at the furthest end of her mind. Self-reflection, a must-do, a necessity. She can't forget about it. Self-reflection, time by herself, except it seems she never has time for herself. Pause and take a breath. No. Slow down. I can't. Please stop. I can't. I won't miss out. You don't understand. I can't let even a moment pass me by. Without all my clubs and events and certificates, everything would just fall apart. You're neglecting the only thing you need to hold everything together. Me. You. She'd convinced herself that one day she'd have time. That one day I'd make time. And suddenly time was forced upon her. Everything shut down. It used to seem like she was in command. That the minutes passed in a manner that allowed her to do what needed to be done. Then, time was thin and fragile. And she understood it. She felt in control of it. Pace and time raced against each other on a path that had no end. The world moved at her pace and not the other way around. And then, her pretense that she couldn't make time for herself was crushed as the extra hours, minutes and days she desperately wished for was suddenly presented to her in abundance. Only this time, she had nothing to do with. The clock seemed like the devil's gift. The way the sun rose and fell into slumber quicker than I could get out of bed made me lose focus. Now, time was abstract. It took no form and I could not understand it. Where had I let it go during this lockdown? The same four walls of my bedroom watched me all day, every day. Watching the way she didn't know who she was without everybody else. Who am I? Who am I without the noise and the work and all that I do? Who am I without the parties and the events and the conversations I had with everybody else? Who am I now that the only person I haven't spoken to in, in a long time is the one I'm stuck with? Me. Look at her eyes, her lips, her face. I haven't made time for her. And I can see it in the way I don't recognize her. The way I don't know what to say to her. I smile. She smiles. And in that moment, the most peaceful realization dawns on me. I had been avoiding the only person that would be with me forever. I didn't feel stuck anymore. Being obliged to stay at home had reminded me of a beautiful part of my life that I didn't want to pay attention to before. Me. Thank you.